generation a new generation coming through that girls can oh can yes something. listen uh, any sport like that it's very inspiring I but I just know yeah, what women are like once you get them in there that's mm. it you'll not get them out again and it's the same yeah. happened in politics you see yeah, and you now and now we're that. maybe going to have uh, you know another yet another woman prime minister yeah. You don't know. Uh, I, don't I mean, know. we might not. Uh, I mean, after what she said today about Scotland, that might yeah. it might be game over for her. Do you know what I mean? Don't you think she'll get in there, Scotty? Well, I'm it might be game over she's... because of today, because that's insulting a world leader. Saying you want yeah. to ignore a world leader. Is she going to ignore Biden? Is she going to ignore the T-shirt? Yeah. Uh, you know, is she going to ignore the Northern Ireland minister? Is she going to ignore the Welsh minister? You see, uh, where, where is she going to ignore Australia, Canada? And I mean, we're in the mucky stuff right now yeah. because of Brexit. So, you know I what know. I mean? So she's going to have to go cap in hand, and she's yeah. going to have to go cap in hand to Scotland because it provides most of the good things that we've got in the UK. She'll have been thinking on her feet, though, Scotty, thinking what she says is right, or she, I mean... Well, I don't know if she'll regret having said it, but she should do it. I mean, see, I'm going to tell you something else, Glenn, about high office. She's running yeah. for high office ostensibly. Okay, Boris brought down the office a bit, you know, mm -hmm. but if you don't respect the incumbent, you must respect the office. So regardless yeah. what I thought of, uh, of Uncle Joe Biden, if I mm -hmm. said, uh, you know, he, he is... He is yeah. the President of the United States. Yeah, you've got to respect that no matter what you think. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, uh, yeah. what she's done, you know, she's personally insulted somebody who is the First Minister of in, Scotland, in which is a very, very powerful position. Oh, and office, and if the that. union was any good, would be 50-50 or perhaps even outranking the British Prime Minister. So you think that will definitely go against her then, Scotty? Oh, uh, but yeah, well, she's lost, she's lost the Scottish vote right away, hasn't she, you know? Yeah, I mean... Not that that was up to much, really. I mean, we, we haven't had a... I don't know, we haven't had a, a Tory government in Scotland for I don't know, 55 years or whatever it is, you know, something like that. Yeah. I mean, I don't think, I don't think Tories will be in power for much longer anyway, Scotty, to be fair. Well, not the way things have gone, but is the opposition any better? Do you know what I'm saying, Joe? What do you mean, like Labour and like Yeah, Starmer? yeah, yeah. Although I'll yeah, tell yeah. you who's very popular these days is Mr. Lynch, the union man. Oh, yeah. He's really, he's really winning hearts and minds, do you know what I mean? Because yeah. he's telling the truth. Did they never get empowered the lower Here's, here's a woman, fair. here's Anne saying, go Liz Truss. You know, I wonder yeah. if she's heard yeah. what she's said, you know what I mean? I'd have, I'd have to, uh, you'd have to consider that one, yeah. Yeah, we'll have to consider that I mean, one. Glenn, as always, a privilege talking to you. I'm going to press Actually, on. When do, when do we find out then who's, um, who's the next story? Uh, then? I think Is it's uh, September, if I remember rightly. Yeah. We shall, Scotty, like we said, we shall see, we shall see, won't we, and see oh, what happens. we uh, shall see, but always, whatever happens, remember the Scots adore the English. They just don't want yeah. to be run from Westminster. And vice versa, Scotty, really, uh, oh, yes. ways, uh, Well, I mean, you know how popular McClure is in Yorkshire, do you know what I'm saying? Definitely. You know, you the only, the only honorary Yorkshireman in the world. You can't have any, any uh, animosity towards no. each other, can you, really? No, no, either. no, no, no. But we want to be out of Westminster's clutches because it's bad news. Yeah, you know? definitely. I think, if, I think if you said to somebody, do you want to be run by Liz Truss or do you want to mm. be run by Nicola Sturgeon? After today, yeah. Miss Sturgeon is, uh, you know, absolutely streets and streets and streets ahead. Well, we'll follow it. we we'll find spectacle, though, in the next few weeks. Where we, so it's... we will see what is what. Uh, so... But I think if I was in the 1922 committee... I would be going yeah. back to the drawing board because yeah, they right. are struggling, uh, you know, at the moment. We yeah. are struggling as a country to find a proper leader. Betty Bullfriber were a good spokesperson, weren't she? Oh, her. she was fab. Betty was fabulous, yes. A yeah. great speaker. She was a tiller girl, apparently, wasn't she? And she was one of the old tiller girls. Yeah. <laughs>